back with the Republican leader in the United States Senate, Mitch McConnell of Kentucky. You heard the White House Press Secretary, Robert Gibbs, say a few moments ago that he believes Khalid Sheikh Mohammed will be executed. He will meet his maker, he said. But there is a big debate about where this trial will take place and what form this trial will take. Mr. Gibbs would not commit. The plan is to try him in a federal court system in New York City at the moment. They're looking for another venue. I was trying to get him to say, will it be in a federal courthouse? And he never firmly said yes. Where do you think this will take place? The only time this administration ever cites the previous administration for a precedent is to mention that there were some terrorists tried in U.S. courts. We now know that was a mistake. Now, that was a mistake by the previous administration. The other mistake they made that shouldn't be replicated by this administration is letting too many people go uh, from Guantanamo. What should we do? Three years ago, we passed a military com commission's legislation for the specific purpose of trying foreigners uh, captured on the, the battlefield. They ought to be tried in these military commissions. They also ought to be detained at Guantanamo. I think, John, any community in America is going to object in the same way that New York finally did to these people being put on trial in the United States in civilian courts. If you ask the White House about this at high levels, <coughs> they say it's not just the President, it's not just Attorney General Holder. The General David Petraeus says he believes a public trial in a federal courthouse was the best way to do it so that it's not an Al-Qaeda recruiting tool. That Secretary Gates, a holdover from the Bush administration at the Defense Department, also believes mm -hmm. a trial in the federal court system is preferable to a closed trial in the military mm -hmm. commission, and that the CIA operatives leading <coughs> the fight against these guys in Yemen, in Somalia, in Afghanistan and elsewhere also believe that if you did it in a closed setting in a military commission, it would be a powerful recruiting tool. If, if General Petraeus, Secretary Gates, and the intelligence leaders say, do it in court, why do you say that's a bad idea? I, I simply disagree, and so do the American people. Look, uh, Guantanamo is, is, it was not there before they started attacking us in the 90s, before they attacked us on 9-11. Osama bin Laden didn't mention Guantanamo in his last uh, video. What we need to do is deny these people a show trial. We need to proceed to interrogate them, which you couldn't do, uh, uh, obviously, with a Christmas bomber. I mean, Larry King would have a more thorough interrogation of one of his witnesses than the Christmas bomber had by the Justice Department. This is really dangerous nonsense. Now, we have a way to do it, John. Interrogate them, detain them, and try them in military commissions offshore at Guantanamo, from which no one has ever escaped. The American people think that's the best way to do it. Military, most of the legal experts that we talk to think it's the best way to do it. And if the administration continues to say, bring them somewhere in the United States and put them on trial in a federal courthouse, your power to stop them would be to deny the funding. Would you stand up and say, Mr. President, I'm sorry, bad idea, you're not getting the money? Yeah, absolutely, and I think that'll be done on a bipartisan basis, and the sooner the administration figures out that whatever domestic support they had for this is totally collapsing.